Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is LB and uh, if you're new to this channel, this is my YouTube channel where I talk about plants, plant propagation, semi-hydroponic, show you the plant that I got. So today I'm going to talk about um, import plants. So let's get started. So I have this uh, Monstera Thai constellation that I imported about six days ago. On my previous, uh, what you need to know about import plants, I was saying how like what you need to know and what I usually do so this is after five days six days of imported I just want to show you what I'm doing after that because um, I said I'm acclimated my plan what but like what is exactly that meaning once I got it I clean it up I pot it in polite mix so this is six day after so after six day i do check my roots and this is very important to go back and check some of the plant you can pot it right away to the soil but i don't really recommend you to do that way most of the time you should put it in either the sphagnum or in the uh, perlite the main reason is because the root was washed during the import process um, they need to be clean without dirt so the root were really you know um, sensitive and it been touched so roughly to clean up all the dirt so you need time for it to heal and to process new growth so it's better to put it in sphagnum or polite so that it can be relaxed in that environment so today i'm going to show you after six days on in this polite uh, the park is i just make it stay um, moist there's no water underneath at all it's just like moist perlite so i have a scissor here because i have yellow leaf so it's pretty common that your plants after a few days like when it settles in it start to have yellow leaf it's hard to avoid even though your shipment is four days or five days from indonesia it's still going to have a yellow leaf it's just because the root been touched so much don't be too panicked like it's okay as long as your root is not rotted it will be fine This plant actually have quite a bit of root. If some of the root is already rotten, I will cut it off. But some of them is look black, but it's not rotten yet. I keep it up there. And you can see um, there's some new growth here after in the polite for six days. You can also see there's a lot of black roots. So what I'm going to do is today is just cleaning up the all rotten roots. Pretty normal for plant to shed the roots since, as I say, they was been washed very intensively. That's why it's need to take at least one month to acclimate the plants to make sure they healthy. Because after a month, you have some potential like better root that is already grown in your home environment. I cut off all the black. Uh, soft root. I think it's important to clean it out because uh, if you leave it very long time the bacteria start to form and then it affects all your other roots and it's also important to not pot it in the soil right away this time. So I'm still looking forward to have more white fuzzy root coming out. This one is only one week in uh, perlite so I will expect another week before I can really put it in the soil. Better is three weeks I will be making another updates and show you what this look like um, after three weeks in perlite and then um, what I'm doing afterward. So yeah, so you see this is very really nice Thai constellations. It's a, it's a bit smaller than what I already have but it's, it's nice. Because this is already one week, it's also a good time for me to check how moist is my perlite it is. It's still moist but I think I will need to add a little bit more um, water in it. For the water on the perlite, I use a super drive, uh, diluted super drive solutions. The super drive help to transitions for the, the root to transitions. So that's what I use and it also helps to promote the root growth. So this is what I do after one week when I got it from import. So when I import it, I check the root, wash the root, wash the reef put it in perlites, put it in my growth hands for one week and then one week later and check their roots and any rodents, any yellow leaf, I cut it off and after three weeks then that will be the time for me that I really pot it in soil or pot it in whatever growing medium that I'm using but for right now it still needs some time for the root to grow more and <laughs> until that I will see you next time for the updates so yeah if you have any question about 
what to do with import plants is it a good time to do import right now in the US it might not be a good time I'm lucky to get very beautiful plants but what I've been hurting after I got this there's um, a lot of rumors saying that they cook their plants so <laughs> I don't know take your own risk when you want to import the plants um, sometimes you got good plants sometimes you don't and that's why some people choose not to be imported plants um, and then if you don't want to import plants remember to know how to look at import plants <laughs> on Facebook group so yeah if you have any question remember to put a comment down below and um, thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>